So yeah, this, this is where a lot of guys sort of take me the wrong way because they go, oh, Roland just talks about hypergamy all the time. <laughs> what, I, what I mean by this, when I said that women love opportunistically, I'm not saying women can't love. Like, mm -hmm. They just have to go through the bullet point checklist of does he meet this criteria right here? Then I'll emotionally invest in him and then, then maybe mm -hmm. you'll fall in love well, with the I, guy. I, but you don't get to that point unless you at least meet some of those criteria mm -hmm. in whatever order she happens to have. Yeah, in your theory, how quickly do women generally emotionally invest? Uh, just, I, again, it depends on how well. That's that a great guy question. Meet. I don't how know. Well, how well does that guy meet the criteria of that? That do you think? Do you think like first date? Um, could no. be. Could be. Well, if you sleep together on the first date, do you think? It, I, I think. No, I think. I, I think no. it is a function of maturity. As women become more mature, they wait longer to emotionally invest. Oh, I think absolutely. that's what happens. I think in the beginning, you is this puppy love, and in the beginning, the first date. Mm -hmm. uh, There's it, a difference between yeah. arousal and attraction. Yeah. And uh, so many people, like, just, I, I wrote about this in my second book, okay? I would try to make the distinction between those two. It's alpha fucks and beta bucks, okay? So it's the long term security, the attraction. If you ask a woman, what do you look for in a guy? She's gonna, he's gotta be funny, and he's gotta love his mom, and he's gotta like puppy dogs, and he's gotta like want, want kids in the future, and he's gotta be educated. He's a philanthropist. He's this, yeah. He's a philanthropist. Multiple he six about figure earner. Yeah. So it's all these things that, that sound real good for the long term. But if you say, what makes a guy hot? I see. Okay, so he's got to have, you know, he's got to have guns. He's got to have six-pack abs. He's got to be at least six feet tall. He's got to, um, you know, he's got to have the chiseled jawline. He has to have something that, that turns her on. That's the arousal factor that I'm saying. We need Big to make dick. that fucking distinction because we do not do that enough. <laughs> and and I will, when I hear like even Dr. David Buss or Jordan Peterson or any of these guys, they never want to talk about the arousal side of women's dualistic, you know, mating. Oh, you'll get canceled they now. They only start want about to stuff. talk about the good, the good feels in the long term. Well, you form it, family. I, I so keep, I'm okay, but if you're not hot, you don't form a fucking family in the first place. <laughs> I keep hearing women telling me it's about the connection, the connection, the connection. And then I look mm -hmm. at the guy, guys they date, and they seem to have connections with six foot three guys with tattoo <laughs> sleeves, six pack abs fucking who drive nice fucking, fucking cars. Fucking it seems to be like if you have those requirements, then there's a fucking connection. Dude. It's just so crazy to me. It's like so spiritual. Like, Our energies are on the same level. He's a Sagittarius. Be the first any, person to tell. Well, go, go ahead, hold on. Go ahead. Fucking lie. Miss, go, ahead, Missy. Listen, I'm okay. So I'm a very sexual person. Okay, I know right off the bat I'm gonna sleep with somebody. Really? I yeah. Most women I, do. I, 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 okay, right. I, okay, just just like just like men. Cute porn music. I, I, I do have male tendencies. Like I what the fuck am I gonna say? I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Um, you have tendencies. Yeah. You you have have a high yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Like I'm I, I look at the physical first. I do. Everyone does. Yeah. And okay, people do say that I'm shallow for that, but I know I'm not crazy. Not. Like, yeah. 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 I, I, what is the thing? You, you get that. Women? You get that. But the researchers who do this for a fucking living, they don't, don't get, get that. that. They, they will uh, not no. admit what you just said. Because they're trying to, like, like no, overanalyze? No, it, they're, they're, they're trying to, no, because, no, because they, they these, are, be these, are, these are academic yeah. institutions, and if you come up with a, a, a non progressive belief system, then they're, they won't publish your paper. Does that well, make sense? Of course sense? not, because it doesn't go along with the majority or yep. whatever the fuck they're no, trying to do. No, it doesn't go along. You don't get printed yeah. well, in the hill. The, tr right. the truth can be very ugly. <laughs> yeah. Right? When, of course. when it's just like, yo, this is what girls yeah. want to fuck. And in 12 hours, they want to fuck this guy, but not this guy. Yeah. And that's 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 tough. And for sometimes it's to pretty fucking rude. You got to be pretty rude. Yes. To yeah. say, like, no, these, these types of dudes will never get laid. And. Yeah, I'm sure no one here. But, 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 but it also yeah. sucks yeah. though too because I have you know been with a lot of like very very good looking men and there's no there's a lot of time there's there's no depth. There's no connection. Yeah. Oh, we're coming yeah. full circle. Yeah. See that didn't no, have the connection. But, but did you have sex and, with him? Uh, I just said. <laughs> So I, I've said I've said this before. I don't care how offensive it is. I, this is probably going to be on my gravestone. Women vote with their vagina. Yeah. Women women will sit there and talk about how Just much they love anyway. Alex the accountant, and they'll talk about how much they hate Brock the bartender. But they but you know which one they slept with. I freaking love Brock. I mean, you Brock, can fuck Brock with your Brock vagina, but we're not going to orgasm without you know. I like I. I, I just I'm say, pretty sure okay. I can speak for most women so, when I say that we reach orgasm, but you don't get emotionally. When, yeah, yeah emotionally. Emotionally. I agree. Okay, yeah. beautiful. It's so, but 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 the point is, for men who are listening to what you're saying, when when the, at the end they're like, you still had sex with him. They don't care. All they heard was you yeah, still had <laughs> right. sex with them. And then what, what's happened is the nice guy, when you went on the date with Alex the accountant and you wasn't you weren't feeling it, there wasn't a vibe, you knew in the first 30 seconds you weren't gonna have sex with them, and then you ended up fucking Brock the or I'm sorry, Tyrone the bartender. When you ended the up hot guy in the phone can when, when you ended when you end up fucking that dude <laughs> in Cancun on spring I mean, break. I'm pretty sure it was nothing. The, the, I didn't the say thing, anything. Really I didn't say anything. Brock. I wasn't even I'm listening the to thing, what you're saying. No, this is great. <laughs> no, no, Ty, Tyrone's a fake character. Oh my god, no, Brock. <laughs> you do know Brock. Everybody, I knew it. Everybody knows Brock. Oh, Shit. <laughs>
No, no I'm, go I'm ahead. Stuck. Go ahead. <laughs> no, no, I just, I, this reaction this is, is priceless. This is my show. This is yours. <laughs> no, this is, it's, it's your show now, Missy. It's your show now. Shit, ask away. Um, but the thing is, for, from, from men's standpoint, well, you, you guys understand, women, their behavior in a lot of ways is shaped by what men find attractive. And for men, their behavior is extremely shaped by, by what women find attractive. Why we go to the gym and buy nice cars and wear nice watches and all this kind of stuff. So if we're, if we're shaped by what you find attractive and you tell us to be nice and sweet, but you still fuck Brock the bartender, <laughs> do you understand you are you are affecting the behavior of men when you continue? What's well, that like one guy? You're very said, influential. They're, they're, you know twi- they're twice as many. There was one guy. I Mike, forgot, I forgot they came know in. and they don't care. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's funny because Jen Rufo yeah, came out here and said exactly that same thing. It's he said, your, pe- your penis is not our problem. That's what she said. Problem. Exactly. No. Exactly. Yeah, it's just really interesting. What was it? Uh, I can't remember the guy came on uh, Fresh and Fit and started saying that there are twice as many, uh, there are twice as many African American women with children than African American men with children. Mm-hmm. And the reason why is because y'all all fucking the same dudes. That's the reason why. <laughs> he goes, "Why do you all continually fuck the same?" Look, you're not yes. you're not disagreeing. It's the Britney. You're right not, no, disagreeing. I'm not disagreeing. Yeah. <laughs> you're not disagreeing. So that's that's the issue. Like it, it it happens that way. For a lot of men, for me personally, I'm like, well, then just learn skills in order to be Brock the bartender. There there are ways you can do it. Yeah. But, but for other dudes, they're like, well. Then this world is unfair. Therefore, I hate women. The second thing, the second thing is just very unproductive, and the first thing is very easy to accomplish if you just understand that book right there. If you just read that book right there, no. it makes a lot more sense. You know, 